Hello everyone, this is Raminta here and welcome to my channel. Today we will be organizing some of my art supplies. So I took it out from my drawers some boxes of my art supplies and let's see what do I have here. I don't really remember actually. So here is a magic Kohinoor color pencils which are quite really nice so I will keep them. Many different brushes here. Here I have neon acrylic paints from Pibio. Pibio? I don't know. Which I haven't tried yet. Pastel pencils as well here. Just a few of them. Okay, and this is a lot of pens, like really a lot of pens. I don't know guys, do you have also the same amount of like different just like blue pens? I don't know where it came from. Some erasers. Oh, this is Posca pen. Posca pen is really nice. I have quite a few of them ordered from Amazon. Pencil sharpeners. Small ones, I have actually my favorite Derwin sharpener, so I don't use them that often, but still it's good to have in case. And I found here these gel pens, different colors, so I will try them out, how they look like. I don't use them for my artwork, usually just for notes. And here is graphite pencils. Yeah, it's still good keeping them. Oh, this is Prismacolor Call Erase pencils. Different colors, very nice ones. Highly recommended. Instead of graphite, your usual pencils, you can try some color ones. This is charcoal, charcoal sticks, some pencils, oh so cute, razors, more pencils. And here are erasers from Kohinoor, which looks like a pencil, it's very very good for erasing little details. And this is cute sticky notes, very little smiles, very nice. And here you can see on top this 24 acrylic paint set, which is completely new, I haven't tried them yet. So let me know if you would like to see my first impression or any other video related acrylic paints. Here is Canton paper, one of my favorite, very nice one. Next is pastel mat, also very great paper. It's quite expensive but really nice. Just simple sketch pad, Bristol Smooth, Tones paper, sketch pad. Painting board. Yeah, I will keep them all and we'll be using for sure. And here is painting paper, which I bought quite a while ago as well. 
and never tried because I ordered gouache and it never arrived to me. And so I don't have any gouache to paint now. But now we will open and see how this paper looks like. It looks like just simple thicker sheet of paper, smooth. I think it will be great for painting. Now let's put it back everything nicely to the box. A little bit sorting out where everything should go. And this is Fox Crayons. I have a video how I did a drawing with these crayons. If you are interested, check it out. I will leave in the description down below. This is also watercolor pencils. I have a video as well with watercolor pencils. Just simple kids pencils. Here is Faber-Castell neon pencils. I personally really like neon colors. So definitely keeping them and we'll be using in the future. And the crayons I'm going to donate or pass it to someone else. I don't need them anymore. Another neon colored pencils. This is a woodless ones. These ones are not uh, the best quality, but still I will be using for sketching or something like that. Now let's go through these two pencil holders, which are standing usually on my table and I'm using these pencils quite often. So here is Polychromos, other pencils, sketching pencils like tinted charcoal or simple ones, white gel pen. I don't have a lot of space on my table or in my drawers for art supplies, so I'm trying to organize them so it will take as little space as possible. Maybe in the future I will have more space and can put everything nicely and separate it. Now I have just to put everything together in the one box, but it's still okay. And here we are, everything is sorted out. I know it's not a big difference from what it looked before, but still it looks a little bit more clean and neat. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy this little sneak peek into my art supplies collection. See you in the next video! Bye!